Hey guys, Jimmy and Tori here with Progressive Performance. And today we're going over our last exercise of the month video for the single leg squat category of movement. So we've gone over our front foot elevated, elevated split squat. We've gone over some of our regressions to our movements with our uh, pulls for balance and step ups. We've gone over our straight split squat, our back foot elevated split squat, and our, and our Bulgarian split squat. So that's the order that we want to take those in as you get more proficient at each movement pattern. Now, each of these movement patterns, their proficiency is dependent on how controlled your lumbar spine is. So a hyperextension of the lumbar spine is a big tell to bring us back a notch so that we can make sure that we're mastering and controlling our core in these positions so that your trunk isn't at risk of injury and helps keep you in a better position for the entirety of any of these movements. Now, there are a couple things that we can do. One thing, if you have a hard time getting in position, so if you have a hard time getting your back in position, um, your back starts to hurt you while you do this, or maybe your knee hurts you while you do this, there is a stretch that we can do. So we'll demonstrate that first, and then we'll also demonstrate one more advanced movement to this whole progression of movement. So we're gonna start out with the stretch and then we'll move forward. So I'm gonna go grab a pole from the back and Tori's gonna get set up for our half kneeling stretch, which you may have seen before if you've been watching any of our videos. So we'll get started on that. All right, I like having a pole with this stretch because it helps to have something solid to push into to give you a little bit of um, tension in the body that you can then release into the stretch. So I'm actually gonna turn it back up a little bit so you guys can see her a little bit better. Right about here. And she'll show you from the front and then from the side. So you can take this pole in front of her, pushing it down into the ground for a three, two, one, big breath. And then as she lets her breath out, she's gonna just seek forward into that stretch just a little bit, okay? We're stretching this back hip right here, this hip flexor. Okay, we're getting that off tension a little bit, inhibiting those muscles a little bit. If they're too tight, sometimes it's hard to get into the squat. It's hard to get into that single leg squat position. Okay, all the while she's squeezing her back butt cheek to make sure that we're getting that opposite muscle action to get the muscle in the front to relax. Okay, she'll go ahead and show you from the side. Now we'll push her to the side here. Perfect. So as you can see, lower back is on her. She's not leaning forward a whole lot. She's just driving tension into this guy. A little bit of extension in your lower back is fine. Okay, we do wanna tuck that under. So if you can see, she's flexing this butt cheek back here. We're stretching this front hip flexor. And just so you guys can see a little better, I'm gonna have her switch legs in a second here. Okay, so just so you guys can see the side facing you, we're stretching this guy out, we're tucking the pelvis underneath, pushing down into the ground. As she releases that breath, she seeks forward into that stretch and things are looking good and feeling good. Okay, perfect. So if you have a hard time getting into that position, this is a great stretch for you to start with to, to work on that position and, and, and make things a little bit easier. Now, the one thing that we can do that we can add to this is our pistol squat, okay? That's our most advanced movement of our single leg squat series. So, Tori's gonna show you today using the TRX straps as an aid to help her balance because this is a very hard exercise to balance with. Um, it kind of becomes a circus trick over time because not everybody can do this, but it may be something to strive for if you're looking to push yourself a little bit and just looking for a little more variety in your training. So this is where we start. Eventually people can do this uh, standing in there, like just with uh, no help at all. But today we're just going to show you this way. So you can just take that one foot, front foot forward straight and then just squat like you normally would. And back up. And you can get as low as you'd like to. 
Okay, we'll just start with this today because that's a place to start. You can get your body all the way down to the bottom if you'd like. This is one way to challenge the quad and really give yourself some variety and maybe just something to shake up your workout, challenge yourself a little bit. So that finishes our exercise of the month, the single leg squat. And next month we'll be coming at you with a new exercise and a new progression. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.